afternoon all, I'm Will Prowse and this vlog is entitled The Days After University, Post University, The Days of University Past, X-Men, The Days of University Past. If I get sued for branding, using the X-Men brand, I'm sorry. Yes, the happiest moment of the post-university end of the first year is getting this t-shirt which I absolutely love, thank you Hong Kong, it was like eight dollars. No, eight pounds, because it was like twelve dollars, and free shipping. Well, to start the end of the, the start of... The, to start the end of the first year, we had a group two awards night, and we had loads of silly categories, and loads of serious ones, like, uh, who's going to be a millionaire, and who's most likely to be a, 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 a porn star. I didn't win that one. Ugh. But it was a great night, we all got together, all got suited and booted and looking super fly dressed to the nines. Anyone who knows me knows I like to get dressed up formal. I love it so much because I don't get to dress up much. But I did win three awards, well two awards and one runner up if you will. They go in uh, this order. They're the most adventurous, the biggest procrastinator and runner up for class queen glass princess. I'm surprised more about the most adventurous than the glass princess because I don't have a social life. How am I the most adventurous? What do you want about guys? I mean, that should have gone to I, I it should have gone to the person who I voted for. Um Walla, Walla, you have some cracking stories. You have some amazing stories, that's why I voted for you. You should have won it in, in my opinion. The biggest procrastinator I won that because during the half term, um, in the Easter holidays, all my snap I was like, okay, I'm gonna get so much work done, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna plan essays, and so I am get back and I can just type it all up when I get to university, when I'm back up for that last month. And then I got asked to do a five, two, five day weeks. So <laughs> my snapshots were, doing work at home, doing work at home, now I'm going to work now. Working, working. Working. I now am doing university work in my lunch break at work. Like stupid, stupid hours. Like, ugh. I didn't actually get much work done, although my Snapchat said differently. Tyler voted for me for that reason. Thanks, Tyler. I can see where you're coming from. No. <laughs> it was just silly and a nice way to round off. Round off the year. Because next year we're going to be splitting up. Um, apparently, we're going to be splitting groups, groups are going to be mixed up. And it was just a nice way to end the year with all with the new friends I've made. And I'm so happy. They say you make the best friends at university, and I think that's really true. You're growing up. Basically, we, you live in halls with them. I live on their doorstep, and it's 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 surreal, quite frankly, that you're just kind of out there. What else has happened? We went to Thorpe Park, and I was so excited to go to Thorpe Park. Like I've never been to anywhere, and I love it. I'll leave the link to the description down uh, down the link. The link to the vlog down in the description. I'm getting too excited over the thought. I really want to go back because I still have two for one vouchers and I, I really want to go. It was so much fun. The saw ride. The saw ride. I sat in the second row of this two row carriage. So you, you actually couldn't see the drops. You couldn't see anything. You just drop and there'd just be a chainsaw in your face. Thought Park. Completely rated. Completely, completely rated. So much better than anything gone Cornwall because Cornwall's. We don't do amusements. We have flambards. We can learn about World War Two, and then ride on a really bad roller coaster. You're not missing much. Of course, like I said, I've lived here for a year, but where am I living next year? And my housing situation has been really complicated ever since January. Because back in um, November, I think. That November, December, me and the flatmates just said, oh yeah, it might just be easy if we all just live together next year. And I said, yeah, sweet, sorted, done. Okay, that's my house, done. I'm gonna live with that and love them to pieces, sorted. Then we got back in December, uh, I got back in January even, and uh, one of the girls said, oh, so Will, where are you living next year? I was like, and it was like, okay, right. So, all of my friends had already um, like found places to live, so I, me and a couple of other people who hadn't found a place, we like, yeah, we all get along together, let's move in so we can find some more people. And it was it was a really good house. And then, we were only a biscuit. And then, I found that I couldn't really do that plan for reasons 
I won't say. <laughs> So I told someone from my class um, who was that my, my worries about moving into a, a five bed house and they said well our group might be split into two groups of three so if that happens you're more than welcome to join us and they did split and I got invited to it and I, I did take it, I, I, I took the offer. I told the people in my group and they were really under my, my original group for the house they were really understanding and it was really sweet and thank you guys for, for understanding my issue there. But I, I have this new I have this new group. We need to find a house quickly. So we all jumped on looking for these places, looking for these places. We found one and I said, what about this one? And someone said, just email them so you can get a booking. So we emailed saying that any day in the, the, any day the next week would be ideal. Because one of the housemates is actually in Britain's Got Talent. Well done. So, by the way, well done to everyone who's in the collaborative orchestra. So, so good. And so, we're all so proud of you. Like, all the boxes and the singers and the, the, everyone from our university made up the vocal group. Well, we are so proud of you. You sounded phenomenal. So we are all so proud of you. Uh, one of the housemates was in that group, in the collaborative orchestra. So she said, well, I won't be able to go because I have tech rehearsal. So yeah, completely understandable, but put that first. You need to concentrate on that. We all said that, it's fine. Um, then one of the girls has gone home uh, um, yeah, a couple of weeks before this booking. The, the other guy I'm moving in with, um, did he have work? We well, went home. I think he went home. But I, it was literally just, just me in London. Uh, so I went along to this house and I just fell in love with it immediately. So it's got the, the, the big bedrooms for all of us, uh, showers, ensuite, garden, like everything we were looking for. We've gone all the rooms, just so, like, sides. Because estate agents, the pictures, they lie. Liar! What was I saying? Yeah, I filmed all the rooms and send them to the group and they're like, yes, yes, we need to get this place right now. So I phoned up the estate agent and said, oh yeah, we'll sort it out, but we're going to need a 500 pound deposit to take it off the market to stop anyone else seeing it. Now, I was so keen to get this house that I said that I would pay the full 500 pounds. And I didn't think, I still have a month left to live here. I have no money now. So I, uh, me and the estate agent, I was the go-to guy for all of these things, but I, I was literally afraid to leave my phone and my laptop just because emailed and phoned and I need to get information in quickly. So I spent four days in my flat. I literally did not go anywhere. I, I, I gave myself a migraine because I forgot to drink because I was so stressed. I put this all on myself saying to the guys, no, you send me your information, I'll send it to the estate agent. The estate agent, give me information, send it to someone. I don't know what that was. So there. Long story short, we have got a deposit down on our house and we're looking to move in pretty, pretty soon. So yeah, that happened. We, we, we're kind of growing up-ish. The bag in my cupboard in there, full of like little stuff to take to, to do up my room. So, so excited. Next year's gonna be amazing. And during this time I spent in my flat for four days, I decided I was playing a lot of PS4. I thought I've watched loads of YouTube gaming YouTube. There's Ali A, Chris M D, Big Star, Mini Minter. I, I, I watch loads of them and I really enjoy watching them. So I thought I'll give it a crack. And it's those of you who are subscribed to this channel, you might have seen the few pop up of The Last of Us and Pokemon Emerald. I'm a loser, I know. I don't care if you judge me, I know I'm a loser, go away. But I really, really enjoyed filming them, and they were so, they're so much easier to edit than this, because there's less stuff to cut out. I mean, you literally get the gameplay, do a like, face cam, like I do it on my phone right now, and just bosh it over. That's it. That's it. Just line it up, and you saw it. Put a bit of background music in, bosh. You're done. Saw it. And it got me thinking that maybe I could, like, and this could be you uh, winging my way through vlogs, maybe we could have a winging my way through games channel, or winging my way through cooking, DIY. I'll be so up for that next year, just to like try different things and see what I'm good at and if I can do this stuff, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be so excited. So excited! And that's why I got class princess, I think. <laughs> I don't know. 
And then we come to a few days ago. It was the Musical Theatre Society final party. Just for us all to get together and I'd say have a couple of drinks. Wow. Started at 6, I had to go home at 11. Not good. They put a bit of money behind the bar. And um, I had to go home. It was five hours of just straight drinking. I was not in a good way. I'm a few people. Uh, mm, mm, it was a really good night. I went out with people I wouldn't usually go out with, but we see each other, we get along. And I was like, yeah, let's just all go together. We good laugh. It was such a good laugh. It was so good. Lots of singing. There was music from the Retro Fever. Uh, show that the musical theatre and the dance, the musical theatre and the dance, theatre and the dance, dance, musical theatre and the dance society put on back in March, and people were up and dancing and singing along. It was uh, thank you to all the uh, level five sixes. You organised that. We should do it again. We should do it again sometime. I'm talking about doing. It. Actually, that sounds bad. I'm talking about doing it again. I'm on a date. No. It's what you say at the end of the day, saying, oh yeah, we should do this again. I went on a date a few weeks ago, like a proper date. I met this girl outside stage door after an all-day drinking session for Aiden's birthday. We went as Mormons and went out, and then I went to see a show. And I met this girl like, by myself, and then I went met this girl at stage door, and we got along really well. I walked into her and said, da 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 and then she found me on Facebook a few days, uh, a few days later. And we were talking, and we went on this date, and there was lots of fun. That was lots of fun, actually. Got along really well, but she's gone to America now, so... Ah. What's a man to do, hmm? <laughs> That's one option. But I didn't choose the option, I chose to get on with life. Play more fish in the sea. This mug is now empty. What I did discover on that day is I really don't like frozen yoghurt. Well, I might. I had chocolate on chocolate on chocolate, which I thoroughly regretted straight after I finished it. So sickly. I went to St. James's Park, I uh, went to the theatre cafe, it was a good day. And now I was like my first, my first first date in, in four years. Wow. Oh my god, that's my first date in four years. Wow, I did pretty good. I'm impressed with myself for a first first date in four years. Well done, Will, well done. <laughs> and now we move into the second year and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be so hyped and I'm so looking forward to seeing everyone again. I mean, I'm still here for a month. I'm so looking forward to the second year. I can continue learning and further uh. musical theatre knowledge and skill and thank you to the university. I, I know we got, I know me and you got a rocky start with this whole winging my way through uni. Oh, I don't have a plug. I, and there's no plug available for me to do a plug gag. Wing my way through uni, blog, business. Uh, but it, I, I really have improved myself. I know I will improve next year and I'm so looking forward to coming back. So looking forward to it. But for now, I have a month with my friends who are still here. Here's to a great month and here's to the second year. I'm really sorry I don't do vlogs that often. No, 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 I don't do vlogs that often now. But it's just like finding stuff to do vlogs about is the difficult thing because everyone says I've got such a good social life but I'm like what? I don't have a good social life But yes, that will do the end to this vlog No doubt there will be a moving in vlog Go to this new house and unpack and set up my room and we'll get Chinese and have a drink and put a crappy DVD on and it'll... I'm so looking forward to it Yeah PEACE!